Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about Venus retrograde and Venus is moving forward, but we need to talk about what is Venus moving forward on. So this particularly affects women, but it will affect a lot of men too, because in some ways there's some disentangling for women, what this is really going to be about is it's going to have to do with a lot of things that surround the topic of sexual abuse. Now, even if you have not been abused in this life, you may have ancestors who have been, it may be in your lineage somewhere, it might be hidden. And what I'm here to help you with is to understand why this energy feels like this and if you need the help to be the person that you get some help from. So one of the things that Venus, you know, we talk about Venus and the house of Venus and Venus retrograde. And, you know, this is uh, your love. This is the monetary and financial things. It's your, and those things go together because a lot of people will not leave a relationship because of financial insecurity. That's a thing. And it's a valid concern. People should not be out there starving themselves. Now, conversely, a lot of women have also been put out. And in past, in certain cultures and ancestry, if you were unwanted, unwelcome, you were put out somehow. If you were considered defective, you were put out. If you couldn't produce a child, you were put out one way or another. So there's some heavy things about this energy that, you know, we're peeling some of the layers on and it's not pretty to look at. We cannot sugarcoat it anymore. And sometimes it's not even human trafficking. Sometimes it's just how cultures were or how a certain society was. We're hiding the babies or we're calling them illegitimate or we're getting women pregnant and then we don't like that they keep producing a female heir and <clears throat> we abuse her until she approve, you know, brings forth a male heir or something like that. So this time is to clean your house. When we talk about your house in context of this, it's your body, your hara and your sacral connections. So your sacral, where you are supposed to make love, and have love connections, your hara, which is how you bond with others in your soul group. And that's just kind of putting it a little bit like in a generalized way. There are some really deep bonds where you need to unbond with people and their stuff and the stuff they did to you and the stuff that people did to you or that people did to you or those people did to you. Every culture has had some sort of strife and, uh, you know, has gone through like really hard times in the past. You could look throughout history. We're here to say the buck stops here, start setting our boundaries, clean the house, clean your house. So this is an alignment of the sexual energies. Your sexual energy is going from a level where it once was basic. It was 3D. It was survivalistic. It was to keep the tribe going. It was, you know, sometimes with love, you could love your children. And now it's going to another level of sacred. Who is bringing this up? A lot of the seraphim, a lot of the alphanum, a lot of the people who are the orphim and coming forward uh, for their awakenings. Yes, more Elohim are doing it. So when we're aligning these connections, we are disentangling from each other, especially at the physical level. It's normal to feel somewhat isolated or like you don't want to date everyone. It's actually normal to feel a bit asexual where you just, you're not really interested. Nothing's lighting you up below your heart level. Your heart is open for love. And yet the lower levels of your body, the sacral and the hara are not going to be just turned on by just anyone. And that's how it is for a lot of people. That is the reason for being asexual. Your soul is selecting the society that you want to be with and that you should be with. 
Now, because there's been a lot of entanglements involving sex and love and sex and money and sex and loyalties and love and loyalties and tradition and marriage and all these things, how do you get it out? How do you keep it from affecting you? Well, first of all, you're going to notice this if you feel crappy, if you feel crampy, you have pains down in your lower areas, you feel like there's something wonky with your menstrual cycle, you feel like somehow your house of money is not on track, you can't manifest, you might be too clogged up, tangled up, blocked, and you need some help with that. So this energy is to pave the way for the release of sexual abuse. That's from past lives. That's from ancestral times and our ancestors, the present. And it's going to be to pave the way to get out domestic violence because nobody deserves that in their love relationship. That just doesn't go together. It doesn't go together. It doesn't prove anything. Jealousy is a low emotion. It is not love. Drama does not prove love. Other things like narcissistic. Now, I want to say a little thing about narcissism. Those people can't connect. Don't even bother with them. Stop chasing a narcissist. Stop trying to break down their walls. Stop, stop, stop. Let your body set the energetic boundary. You're going to see how quickly they have a breakdown in your presence. And what I mean by that is they may become a sobbing wreck. It's not going to make you go, ha ha. It may mean that finally they can be a little bit genuine, a little bit more themselves, not have their walls up. Especially if that's someone in your family that you do care about. It could be a cousin. It could be a child. It could be an in-law. How do you do this? Do you let them keep stomping on you, on your heart, on your emotions, on your, you know, good intentions of your big heart? Maybe not. Maybe, maybe. So present and getting rid of things in the family too. A lot of families do relate to each other with domestic violence. This is carried over into work. It's carried into workplaces where people earn their money, hence the house of money. Your Venus house of money. It has carried over where people need to, you know, dump their stuff or trauma dump or have sex and just pound it into someone else just so that they can function. And it is oppressive to say the least. It's bad. It has been really bad throughout history. It's the way things have been happening though. And we're here to stop this. So it has to start with clearing our energies of all the people that we don't want in our energies. We are getting the fight out. We are getting rid of the battle of the sexes. We are getting rid of the corruptions, the traumas, and the stealing of purity and innocence. And this isn't just um, modern day children. This is what happened to your ancestors when they were children um, who snatched them up. You know, if you look at the history of Genghis Khan, there's been a lot of that snatching up of people and taking them off to a foreign land to either become wives, concubines, uh, workers, slaves, all of this stuff. Bad, 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 bad. What do you do with um, modern day times if this is something where you're feeling in your body and you're not feeling all light. You're feeling kind of sluggish. You're feeling kind of burdened. You're feeling like a malaise. You feel like generally like, I just, I can't do anything. I don't want to do anything. Where did my mojo go? What's going on with me? I'm supposed to be a being of light and love. Well, yes, you are. And we need to get those things off of you, out of your DNA, get you rebooted, revitalized, and get some deep healing. I offer a session for this. It is my four zone deep psyche session. And you can also join my webinar, The Light Body in Transition, where we are going to talk about the angelic side of you that no longer wants to put up with this stuff, addictions, or anything else. You can't store it up. You can't accumulate it anymore. It has to go. You got to scrape out the old bring in the new, and do it in time. So thanks so much for watching. This is some really deep stuff in this uh, retrograde Lionsgate new moon sandwich energy. 
take a big bite and go deep because it's deep. It's so deep that it's just starting to be detectable. Bye now. Have a good day.